What if your pipeline qualified itself, projects build themselves, and clients booked, paid, and gave you testimonials without you lifting a finger? In this video, I will show you 12 automations that can make any company run like a machine. If you're new to the channel, I'm Daniel, and five years ago, I taught myself how to build systems and automations. Since 2021, I'm a Notion certified consultant, and I have helped more than 70 business owners become free thanks to their systems and automations. And now let's get into the 12 automation ideas. The first one is lead qualification. I always want that whenever I build an automation for someone, it is actually solving a pain point that they are having. And the typical pain point of this is sales team members hopping on calls with unqualified leads which make them waste time. And those time slots could have better been used with people that are already qualified for the service that they are going to sell. So what this automation is going to do is whenever a new lead submits a form or replies to a cold email, the automation is going to trigger and it is going to send the lead to a downsell if they are not ready for the high ticket service or to the right sales rep or even to start a conversation with the lead with AI in order to qualify him a little bit more. And the result is that only high feed leads will reach your calendar or your sales team's calendar. And typically this automation saves one to two hours per week, but it will depend on the number of leads that you get. Number two, appointment scheduling and following up. The main problem here is companies going back and forth with potential clients trying to set a time for their discovery call. So whenever this happens, we can have a link to a Calendly or Cal.com, which is the one that I personally use. And that tool is going to perform all the work of scheduling. But not only that, we can also set those up so they can send SMS and email reminders and even call the lead using AI to make sure that they are going to show up. So here the benefit is twofold. One, it makes easier to book appointments with you. And second, show up rates are going to climb significantly because you will have your follow-ups and even your AI callers confirming that the lead is going to show up. Because one of the things that also makes sales rep lose a lot of time are no-shows. So this is practically going to save 30 to 60 minutes per week, depending on the number of leads, of course. By the way, if you want that I create a dedicated video for any of these automations, drop it in the comment section below. Then third one, it is lead research. So once the lead has booked a call, typically the sales rep is going to have to do some research about the lead before the call so he can cater the call a little bit more towards the lead. Because jumping into calls without context kills your close rates and makes you look unprofessional and unprepared. So here the trigger will be whenever the lead books a discovery call, an AI bot is going to generate a one-page brief with a company overview, but not only that, also it is going to suggest three tailored ways that your solution addresses their needs. And the bot can search all the information that they have on their website, go to their LinkedIn, go to their Facebook if they have any, and the result is going to be opening every call actually prepared with a tailored point of view in just two minutes of prep time, just the time that you will need to spend reading what the AI has done. And this typically saves 30 minutes per book call. Fourth, proposal generation. Once we have had the discovery call and the lead wants to move forward, we may have to generate a proposal. This manual document creation breaks momentum and stalls deals when buyers are ready to move forward because it will actually take us manual time and labor to create such document and it may take us one day. But what if an automation could merge the client data into your branded proposal template and send the template automatically with the click of a button right after the call has finished? Well, so the result will be frictionless and fast proposal signing and most importantly, higher closure rate. This typically saves one to two hours per proposal and this is without taking into account the increase in closing rate. Fifth is going to be invoice generation. So once the lead has signed the contract, the next step that we want to do is to send them an invoice for the first payment. The problem here is that client wastes time before signature and payment, creating unnecessary delays, lack of professionalism, and a bad first impression. So now, whenever the lead signs the proposal, the automation is going to generate the invoice with the customer data and the agreed pricing and send it via email with a payment link and then track the payment status and send reminders if the client is not paying the invoice, all of these automatically. And the result is gonna be frictionless pay to start in minutes. Cash flow accelerates and product delivery begins faster. This typically saves 10 minutes per invoice, but it is not just the time that you are saving creating the invoice, it is also the first impression that you're giving your customer. If all this process is automated, 
you are signaling your customer that you have your shit together and that you know your processes. Number six, client onboarding. So once the client has paid, he's waiting for news. What to do? What's the next step? And messy delays, delay delivery timelines and create early churn risk before you even begin work. Because again, this is all about creating a good first impression. So we want that after a client has paid us $5,000, for example, we are very fast in telling them what to do next. Because if not, they just spend all that money and they know nothing. Maybe they even may feel scammed for a little bit. So now the trigger is going to be whenever the deal pays for the first time, the automation is going to send a smart welcome email with a form, create the client project in your Notion workspace. If you're using Notion, spin up communication channels, Slack, Slack channels, set up a share Google Drive, like everything that you need for the client to be onboarded. And the result is going to be a superb customer experience right after payment and professionalism. The typical time spend is one to three hours per client, depending on how long or complex your onboarding is. Number seven, project management automation. Whenever we start a project with a client, we want to know what we need to do when. But the problem here is that project may drift off track because tasks aren't standardized and the team accountability is unclear, meaning that people don't know what needs to get done and who needs to do it by when. So the trigger here will be whenever a new client project is created, the automation is going to auto-generate all the deliverables, all the milestones, all the task lists, and assign all those tasks by team availability and skill match. Plus, it will set intelligent deadlines, meaning all the to-dos are gonna be created automatically, assigned to the right people, and setting the right deadlines without the founder or the project manager ever have to step in and do that for the team. And the result is going to be consistent delivery across all projects without constant micromanaging or status meetings because the system is going to tell you and is going to guide your team to do everything. And a typical time saved is two to four hours per project per week on task creation, assignment, and follow-ups. Number eight, client communication. Here, the problem is that whenever we are fulfilling the service to the client, if we don't communicate what's going on, the client may feel in the dark. They don't know what's going on. And the trigger is whenever a milestone is reached or an asset is ready, then the automation is going to send the right message at the right time with a clear call to action. For example, your homepage design is ready. Click to book a review. This will be for a website development agency, for example. And the result is going to be that the clients feel guided and you prefer just checking in emails whenever and this has happened to me whenever a client has has written me a slack message and told me hey how are things going with the project this feels bad because it means that i have not informed them about what's going on so i failed here the time save is 30 to 60 minutes but the biggest upside for me is clients having a good experience number nine finance management the problem here is twofold one late payments and people that owe you money that you may not even know if you have a lot of clients at the same time and second that you may not be managing your finances correctly and knowing how much you're earning how much you're spending and all of that in cash flow issues creates financial stress the trigger here is whenever an invoice is going to be issued or a due date is approaching is approaching or a payment has been made. And the automation is going to track all the payments per client per month automatically, notify the business owner on late or failed payments, calculate the MRR, the year-to-day revenue and profitability in real time, and generate financial reports for better forecasting. These, of course, are gonna be different automations, but they are all within the finance management automation realm. And the result here is knowing exactly who owes what and when without maintaining complex manual spreadsheets, as I have seen some of my past clients doing, and peace of mind that all your finances are always up to date. Time save is around 30 to 60 minutes per week, but again, the biggest upside is the peace of mind that you are not messing up on your finances. Number 10, client feedback request. One of the problems that I see is people having problems gathering testimonials. So here the trigger will be a project milestone that we have decided that is testimonial worthy. And the automation is going to be sending a short NPS or satisfaction feedback form automatically. And if the response is positive, we may request a testimonial. And if the response is negative, we may open an escalation task for the account manager or the founder to take a look about what's going on. This alone has proven to be very useful for me because from the managerial perspective, I don't know everything that is going on with the projects. And this 
then in this kind of satisfaction forms gives clients the opportunity to tell you how good or bad their services are being. And I remember that a client said like, okay, things are not going very well. So this gave me the opportunity to jump into the project and make things right for the client. So here the result is predictable flow of social proof content and fast issue recovery. Number 11, social media management. Here the problem is that content ideation and creation takes forever, leading to inconsistent posting and wasted creative energy. If you want to build your marketing around creating content, you have to have a social media management system. But if you don't automate it enough, you may stop being consistent and then all your past marketing efforts will go to waste. Here the trigger will be a weekly content calendar cadence or scheduling posting day. So this will trigger every week or every month, whenever you want it. And then the automation is going to scrape the web for industry trends and client pain points, generate post ideas aligned with your brand voice, draft social media captions with relevant hashtags, queue content for team approval and scheduling. And the result is actually having a consistent social presence without creative burnout or last minute scrambling. Basically, the system will tell you what to post with evidence and you will just have to go through the creation process, create it and post it. So the system is going to keep you on track. The time save, this is around five to six hours a week on content ideation. And I would say that this is conservative, depending on the amount of content that you want to post weekly. And finally, KPA management. Here, the main problem is that teams optimize for tasks and not outcomes. So founders don't have visibility on the team's performance. But if we have KPIs that abstract what's happening on the tasks and we start seeing key metrics for every individual, then we will be able to start assessing what's going well and what's going not so well. Here, the trigger will be weekly or monthly, depending on when we want to track and manage KPIs. And the automation is going to pull your top KPIs automatically and generate a report with insights and an improvement plan. I remember that we set this up for a real estate company and we were gathering all the dials that they were doing, all the contracts, everything that was going into escrow and, and everything per agent. So like this, the founder could see at a glance what each of his agents was doing, who was doing better, who was doing worse, and who to talk to to improve their performance. Here, the result is that everyone sees the score and what to do next. This can also create some healthy competition, by the way, and the time save can be around 45 to 90 minutes a week. If you want to have this in document format, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so you can get it. And if you want that I take a look at your current operations and find which automation will give you the biggest ROI right now, you can also book a call directly with me also in the description of the video. And well, that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.